On this edition of Just the Tip, Just the Tip, we've got this pointy little device here. Unfortunately, we won't be using it on any import models, just on tires. So when Pete and I started going to the racetrack, we really were tuning our tires blind. We were setting tire pressures based on lap times and, and our butt dynos. And although that's not a bad place to start, eventually we figured out that to really get the most out of your tires, you need a tire pyrometer. Like this one, this is a cheap $80 probe type pyrometer. And what this does is tell you what the temperatures of your tire is underneath the surface. You can use an infrared one and that really just gives you surface temperature, which is better than nothing, but you really want to know core temperatures. And to get that, you need this probe type pyrometer. And all you really do with it is, after you come in off the track when the tires are good and hot, so you want to do like a three or four hot lap session, get the tires hot, come in hot too. You don't want to cool the tires down at all. Come in and have someone quickly take these readings. So you literally fire this sucker up, you puncture the surface with the probe, you get it in there at a bit of an angle. You don't want to go straight in or too deep. You let, it, you let the temperature stabilize and that's your reading. You do that in the outer third, the middle third and the inner third of the tire and then you can use that information to dial in your tire pressures and your wheel camber. For example if it's too hot down the middle it means you have too much tire pressure or if it's cooler down the middle than on the outside it means you don't have enough pressure. If it's a lot hotter on the inside than on the outside you've got too much camber and if it's a lot hotter on the outside than on the inside you don't have enough camber. It's really pretty simple. Typically a high performance summer tire or a race tire wants temperatures about 160 to 220 Fahrenheit. Every compound is a little different so that's something you're going to have to experiment with yourself. Uh, unfortunately tire manufacturers don't usually give you that information but you can figure it out and with this tool you really can maximize tire performance.